Today, I'll be demonstrating how to connect an MHL-compatible Android device to the Kenwood DDX9903S using the Kenwood Smartphone Control application. This application allows you to have touchscreen control directly on the touchscreen of the receiver. Well, let's zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is connect the phone via Bluetooth to the Kenwood receiver. So simply go into the phone settings and ensure Bluetooth is turned on. Then scan for available devices and you'll see the DDX9903S. So we'll go ahead and select that. The phone will then bring up a message as will the receiver asking you to pair. Simply hit OK on the receiver and OK on the phone. Then it will show connecting and then connected. Next, we'll need to set the connection type of the receiver. So go ahead and press the menu button and then the setup icon right here. Next, select the AV icon and then where automotive mirroring shows on, turn that to off and you'll notice that app and iPod setup is now able to be selected. We'll select that and we want to change the connection type to Android Bluetooth and then put a check in the box next to HDMI slash MHL. Should look just like that. Then select the done icon and then if you'd like you can turn automotive mirroring back to on which will enable the use of Android Auto or CarPlay in the future. And then I'll just hit the home button on the screen. Next, we'll want to install the Kenwood Smartphone Control application. So simply go to the Google Play Store on the phone and search for Kenwood Smartphone Control. Tap the install icon and then accept. Once the application has been installed, you'll simply select the open on the phone and then the phone will say the accessibility mode is off. Please change the accessibility mode setting. We'll select setup and then we're going to scroll down to services and then Kenwood smartphone control. We'll press Kenwood smartphone control and over here in the top right hand corner we're going to turn that on and touch OK to accept. OK now we'll go back to the home screen start the Kenwood smartphone control app. Okay, now we'll need to connect the phone to the receiver. Because this is a Samsung phone, it does require a 5 to 11 pin tip adapter to be plugged into the Kenwood KCA MH100 cable. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Now going to meetmhl.com, that's M-E-E-T-M-H-L.com is a great resource to see if your phone is MHL compatible and if it does require this 5 to 11 pin tip adapter. Okay, so now we will plug this into the phone. And you may hear your phone beep to indicate that it's charging. We'll then select the mirroring source on the receiver, you're going to see a caution message, so we'll go ahead and hit agree, and then we'll get an additional caution message. Go ahead and select agree. Then it will say now connecting, please wait, as the app connects to the receiver. And we'll have this display come on, that's a good sign. Now we should see a mouse cursor up on the display, which is great. We can hit the X in the bottom right hand corner and then you'll see your phone and all of its information being displayed. So then we could go to whatever source we wanted to, scroll from one page to another, bring up the calendar. You can touch this top left hand section and select various sources to go back to the Kenwood smartphone control application. Bottom left hand corner would allow you to recalibrate the screen. So if your mouse cursor was off just a little bit, we can hit screen calibration and it will reconnect. 
So if that ever happens in the future where the mouse cursor just isn't lining up to where you think it should, uh, the screen calibration will allow for that to be much better. We'll go ahead and select the back arrow and select the X icon. Now in the top left hand corner or this little arrow right here depending upon the orientation of your screen. So again if we go back into the calendar or something that orients in a landscape mode that will be in the left hand corner. Other icon sources you'll notice that this one right here will allow your phones other open applications to show up. This next icon down here if we bring that up again we can select that and that will take us back to the home screen and then we'll go back into landscape mode and the last one down here that's simply just the back icon again would take you back one level to the home screen. So that is the Kenwood smartphone control application with touchscreen control on the DDX 9903S. Well, thanks again for tuning in to this Kenwood training video on the Kenwood smartphone control application. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time.